this needs to be turned off because otherwise it looks real yellow in here. Welcome to Tea Time with Allison. Cool, just kidding, this is not tea. This is chocolate milk. It's really hot outside and I just got off work and I'm not going to drink tea right now, so pretending it's tea. Uh, I was supposed to film earlier today before I went off to work, but I forgot. So I went pokey hunting instead and was roaming around a college campus. It was empty and it was a lot of fun, but I did not film, so you get this instead. Tomorrow is my court date. I have to go at 4 o'clock to get my, like, a uh, real legit license. Right now all I have is, like, the blue piece of paper saying, like, this is temporary, but now I get the real deal, which I'm excited about having the real deal, but what I'm not excited about is actually going to court. I've heard it's not a big deal. You just shake a bunch of people, <laughs> shake a bunch of people's hands and then just say, uh, nod your head, the smile. Yeah. But apparently, they won't let you in if you're not dressed nice. Like, if I'm wearing shorts, like, they literally won't let me in. Like, they'll reschedule a whole nother day. So, I have this nice black dress that I'm going to wear that I wore in my last video, actually, in yesterday's video. Um, I think I'm just going to wear that. I don't know if I'm going to wear the thingy. I might just wear that because it's just a nice black dress, you know? It's all fancy. I don't know if I already said, but my shift today was from 3 to 10, so I've been working all day long, 7 and a half hours, and I am tired, and I am ready to go to bed, but I cannot because I have to edit this and film this, and I don't even know what this is. This is tea time. Tea time means so let's just talk about whatever comes to my brain. Literally don't judge my hair. Like, it's such a mess. I didn't even, uh, I should have showered today, but I didn't, so... Like I said, when I was playing Pokemon today, uh, to, <laughs> mm, I'm at level 5 now, it took me long enough, and I saw a gym, and I was like, I'm gonna try this gym out, but I don't know what I'm doing, I don't read the instructions, so I was just winging it, and I failed in like 2 seconds, because I don't know how to find a Pokemon. Someone should teach me. Today I posted on Instagram a picture of my friend Carrie from like a photo shoot that we did and I was just talking about like how I've heard from numerous amounts of people saying that like if you're comfortable in what you're doing and in your situation then you you shouldn't be comfortable. That basically is the easiest way to say it. Because if you're comfortable then you're just going to stay there. If you're uncomfortable in whatever situation you're doing or whatever like level in life you're at then you're going to want to be comfortable by like pushing yourself to do things that you wouldn't necessarily do and you can grow and um, do cool things. So yeah, I was basically just talking about how um, I feel I I feel as though I felt really comfortable with my surroundings and I felt really comfortable with the photography that I put out and the videos that I put out and stuff, which is not good because I constantly, constantly bash myself about how I'm not as good as this photographer or this videographer because I'm not trying hard enough. I'm, I definitely could try more and, you know, experiment, but I just don't because I just want to be comfortable, so I need to stop being comfortable and just try and do new things and uh, yeah so let's hope that actually happens but because I posted that photo I was about to say video no it was a photo I got a uh, direct message on Instagram from somebody who lives pretty near me never met her before she's never met me either but she like followed me recently and I like her stuff she looks really cool so she was like hey I'm a model sometimes we should like shoot together is that sketchy? I don't know. We'll see. Oh my goodness, my brother's playing the guitar. When is he ever not playing the guitar, honestly? That's the real question. The shirt is like super see-through, so you can like literally see my bralette like through it. How cool is that? I don't know if I, I actually don't know if I like that or not. I don't know. I don't know. It kind of looks weird to be honest, but whatever. Actually, funny story, last Wednesday I was out with my friends and um, I was in front of a coffee shop and then someone walked up to me, or she was walking into the coffee shop and she was like, we like have the same shirt on. It wasn't exactly the same, but it was like pretty much the same. Hers was like solid gray and it had the same like elephant on it. It was just like smaller and I was like, oh yeah, is it from Target? And she was like, yeah, like Target has great clothes or whatever, like great affordable t-shirts, it legit does. Um, 
I was like, yeah. And she was like, yeah, cool. You know, yeah. Um, and then she walked in, and then I walked in a little bit later, like a couple minutes later, because my friends had arrived. And then the cash, no, the barista. Barista. Okay, I'm done. <laughs> the barista complimented her in her shirt, and she was like, oh, thanks. I actually, there was like a girl right out there, and then she turned around and saw me, and she was like, that girl, and we have the same shirt. It was kind of funny. Yeah. <laughs> Just random stories. I'm just like marveling over how tan my legs are. I'm so excited. My arms are kind of tan too. You literally can't tell on camera, so just disregard. <laughs> that was not English. Disregard what I just said. But my legs are really tan, so that makes me happy. Okay, I think I'm gonna end this now, otherwise, I will talk forever. Uh, yeah. See you tomorrow. Bye, guys. This shirt is really cute. Whoa, I just got a bubble in my throat. Do you ever get a bubble in your throat? It's kind of fun. And some people don't even know what that means. And then they're like, what the heck are you talking about? A bubble? Like what?